vocabulary. Okay, we are here uh, with somebody who has a unique and special and really important job. So, uh, Linnea, very yeah. nice to meet you. You're here with Gus, and what what is going on? What are you all about to do with these bags? So, I am the COVID case manager for Gus Davis, and we are delivering food to people in quarantine. So, this is... Um, Obviously, like, maybe not exactly what you were thinking, but I can't stress, like, how important this job of yours <laughs> is right now. What, can you just talk us through, like, what you're responsible for and what, what is involved? Yeah, so anytime that we hear that a student is feeling sick or maybe they were exposed to someone with COVID, then we take care of them and make sure that they get into a space where they're not potentially infecting other people. We make sure they get tested. We make sure they have the food they need and everything so they can do their classes remotely from campus if they choose to stay here. Wow, and so this is like a, a level of care that, again, I, I just haven't heard of or seen before because you are have wraparound services for students who maybe are either come down with COVID or even exposed to it potentially. Mm -hmm. If someone does is diagnosed with COVID, like what is the protocol? What do you do? Yeah, so we um, if they're tested and they and they do have COVID, then we start our contact tracing, and that would mean that anyone that they have been in contact with, we want to get a hold of them and make sure that they get tested and that they also get into quarantine because, as we know, we have people who they might not even feel sick, but they could be passing the virus on to others. So we just want to really make sure that we're containing that spread very quickly. Um, especially on a college campus where we have to keep everybody safe and we are a community living together. That is so true. And this is the part that blows me away. It's like, <laughs> it's not even that, you know, you are quarantining and you're making sure that they can do their classes and then you hand deliver food. Mm -hmm. That is very cool. Yeah. So we, I mean, we want to make sure that they're cared for. Uh, it's not an ideal situation ever, right? To be away from your friends and away from your roommates. So we want to make it as comfortable and as, um, also safe for everybody else, right? We don't want them coming to the CAF if they're potentially sick. So it's both doing them a service and taking care of them, but also keeping the rest of us safe by having these types of contactless deliveries and giving them what they need. All right, uh, well, we should, we should go deliver let's this go food. Deliver right, food. Let's go deliver food. Let's go see, let's go do this food, okay. Okay, so that was a fun ride. And where are we now? <laughs> so we are outside the retreat center. This is one of four spaces that we have for people who are in quarantine or in isolation due to COVID. Um, and so we are very fortunate that we have that space on campus. Some people choose to go home, but it's nice that they can stay here. And the, how does, we brought this food over. Uh, how does this process work? Yeah, so to ensure that it is a contactless delivery um, for the anonymity of the people inside and for our own safety, we have coolers um, outside all of the spaces and so we just drop them off in there and then we let the case managers know that it's ready to be picked up and then the students can come out and get it and i think this is a very cool thing we can kind of head over this way where you mentioned like it's uh, anonymous like so that you know a, a student or whatnot doesn't end up with some sort of scarlet letter <laughs> of, uh you know COVID. Right, yeah, I mean, we hope that the stigma of having COVID isn't a negative experience. And so we just wanna protect their identities and make sure that they can be safe and comfortable at the same time. So then we would just throw it in the coolers here and it, go ahead and set it in there. Good job, Gus. Hard to do with big paws, but he did it, so. That's good. Okay, so the last thing that I'll say about this uh, is you know, you are doing yeoman's work to like keep people safe uh, and keep people comfortable and actually having a good experience. I mean, it feels a little crass to like make a, a fundraising pitch. And yet it's like, this isn't free. Like this is like a whole new set of services mm -hmm. that Gustavus is providing that didn't exist last year. And like you had to figure out whole new systems and whole new ways of doing things. And this is your full-time job now, is taking yeah. care of this. Yeah, we've pretty much, trained a lot of people on campus have pitched in. That has been a total team effort, steep learning curve for everyone involved. We are so thankful that we have a health service on campus who can do testing. A lot of places don't have that. We have a dining service who can put together meals that can accommodate 
vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, any, anything that a student needs, they can have it right here. And so we just have great departments who have really put a ton of effort into this. And we're gonna get through this year together. We are gonna get through this year. And I'll just say it for them, like this is why we need your support because this is an extra need. This is an extra burden in some ways. An extra opportunity maybe is a better way to put it in terms of taking care of each other. And Gustavus is doing this about as well as anybody in the country or in the world is doing it. And this is what your dollars are going to help support. So please give, give generously because uh, because this is what it's all about. So mm -hmm. thank you Absolutely. very much. Absolutely. Yes. All right. This is good. We should leave. We should get Gus back back to campus. All right. Cool.